ಅಡ್ವೊಕೇಟು ಪಂಡಿತ್ ಶಿವಕುಮಾರ್ good evening friends it's our pleasure to be here this evening and uh, play for you the traditional indian classical music on this instrument santur i think uh, you would like to know something about this instrument and something about the indian classical music in general this is a very rare instrument from india in olden days centuries ago we had a common word for all kinds of stringed instruments in india that word was veena veena in sanskrit means a stringed instrument so when this instrument was invented it was called shatatantri veena a sanskrit word that means a hundred stringed lute first have a look at the instrument as you see this is a simple form of an instrument strings stretched over a box and there are small bridges this is a very interesting stringed instrument which is not plucked but is played with these two wooden mallets later on with the persian language becoming popular in india and cultural exchanges with persian countries the instrument got its present name santur which is a persian word meaning hundred strings now it's an established theory that gypsies came from india to west european countries so maybe it was brought from india and we find the prototypes in different countries in eastern and western europe 
even in america we have got a similar kind of instrument called hammer dulcimer in germany there is a similar kind of instrument known as hackbrett then in hungary and romania we have got cimbalom which looks like piano but is played with the strikers which of course is a modification of the same instrument and which ultimately resulted in the present piano which is based on the same system so that in short was the evolution about this instrument this instrument is still found in the valley of kashmir where uh, kashmiri music is played on this instrument and that music is called sufiana musiki as you will hear this is a very very soothing soft romantic instrument and uh, it creates the atmosphere of the valley of kashmir the introduction to the classical music was uh, done by my father and guru after an extensive research about this instrument and he devised the technique how to play classical form of music on this and later on i had uh, certain modifications in the instrument and the technique of playing now in our indian classical music as you know our music is all improvised and it's based on melody and rhythm the melodic forms are called rag and uh, the rhythmic cycles are known as tal so in an instrumental performance generally <coughs> the performance is divided into two parts the first one is specially devoted to the melodic form of improvisation where a solo instrument is played and this first part has got itself three different moments the first one is very very slow in which there is no tempo and the improvisation is carried on in all the three octaves according to the method and system of the rag then the second moment is played which is called jod in which in that form the beat is formed but there is no specific rhythmic cycle in that then the third part is called jhala which is the crescendo part so these are the three different moments of the melodic improvisation which is a solo part also known as alap later on we play the compositions which is along with the accompaniment of the tabla and for that we have got different rhythmic cycles when the composition starts it's a improvisation mostly in uh, rhythmic patterns although the melodic form is there combination of both i have chosen an early evening later afternoon rag very popular in india called bhim palasi i'm starting with the the first part alap jod chala that will be followed by two compositions the first one is set to rupak tal a seven beat rhythmic cycle that will be followed by a faster composition set to teen tal this is a 16 beat rhythmic cycle
Uh, we will have a 15 minutes intermission and during this intermission we have cassettes and albums by our performers here and you can buy them. We also have a few announcements. The Dayton Metropolitan Club of India is going to present a variety entertainment on Friday, May the 30th.